Hey everybody, it's bonus video time. So I got thinking, hey, I wonder if I can test just how good the rail is or how accurate it is or consistent something by taking my test dial indicator and running it along uh, and testing certain uh, surfaces by moving along and seeing what kind of variance that I'm seeing across the whole thing. I don't know how exactly how I'm going to video this, but it's pretty interesting. So let's get started looking at it. All right, so I've got kind of a contrived way of mounting the camera so it moves along with the whole thing. So you can kind of see exactly how much deviation and everything we're going to have. So what we got essentially is we're we're We've got the, the feeler right on the top of the V. I don't know if that's actually a valuable measurement or not. I'm going to start there and see what it does. Right now we're zeroed out. Just about perfect. I'm off on an angle so you can't see it exactly right, so I apologize for that. But I'm just going to move along here kind of slowly. So you can see that we're dropping down a little bit. About a thousandths, half thousandths. Get all the way to the end, you can see my junk bin that's all torn apart looking for stuff to mount the camera. And we're about a thousandths there, so that's really good. I don't know, as I said, I don't know if that's actually a valuable number, but it seems like it is. Only a thousandths off from one end to the other seems really good, so let's check a couple other places. So this time we're on the front face of the rail, so I'm just going to run along here and see what we do. Thousandths over a thousandths under so it's wobbling between a thousandths over there's two thousandths right there a thousandths so that's interesting a lot of kind of wobbling back and forth I'm wondering if that's all of the like surface there like Let's see where we get hit like a spot. Because it keeps going back to zero, which is interesting. Um, I don't feel like it's got anything weird there, but who knows. Um, these The surface of this stuff isn't perfect. But it's interesting that it keeps going back. It's not like a continuously getting worse. So I don't know if that's good or bad or anything, but no matter what, it's only out by a couple thousandths one way or the, or the other. So... That's pretty good there, at least to me anyways, it sounds like it's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna try the top part of the rail. Yeah, it looks like we're about two thousandths there. That's gonna drop back a little bit. Ends off about half thousandths right at the end. A little bit over it. Pretty awesome, actually. And let's go back all the way to the other end for repeatability. See if it gets back to zero. And we do. That's pretty awesome. Huh. Very fascinating. Another interesting thing here is, check out this. I'm pushing. I put like pushing with as much force as I can push on the x-axis, you know, plate right at the top. And the most that I can push it is about two and a half thousandths. That's pretty amazing to me. And about three there. So that's interesting. So there's, I don't know, that seems pretty good for, you know, rigidity. You know, and I don't know if I've got the wheels tensioned up perfectly either. So anyways, I guess that's just a short little video. I, I wanted to try that out and play around with it and see what, what the rail was looking like. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's awesome. If it was within, you know, five thousandths across the whole thing, I, I'm happy. So uh, it, I think that that looks good to me. And the other ones are looking about the same. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.